we're looking at first, the luge, um, definition of our speech. Hi, I'm Krista Roberts. I teach English um, and been using Google Classroom since September of this year. Um, I use it for my American Literature junior class and for my Introduction to Literature sophomore class. Um, this year I have found it to be super easy in organizing all of my assignments um, as it keeps everything in folders uh, for me. It automatically creates them uh, when my students submit their work. Um, so it makes it a lot easier for me to quickly check who has done their work on time um, and submitted it when it was due. Um, it also makes it easy for me to make announcements and share their homework with the kids. You don't have these two things Hi, my name is Colleen Jenkins. I'm a speech language pathologist at Burlington High School. Traditionally, I work with students in small group settings or one on one. Um, however, this year is my first year teaching a class in the high school. I've been using Google Classroom since September um, when Jen Shepherd had initially recommended it. Um, it's a great way to organize documents, to share materials, to uh, distribute class assignments and announcements. Um, there has been a, a lot of changes since the start of the year. Um, just today, Jen had shown me the newest app updates, which is really easy. Um, so this, if I want to add a an assignment to my class, I just hit the plus button, um, make an, an assignment, and then I can choose which document to add. Um, so if I want to just like say, you know, test um, and I hit the little paperclip button I can go to my Google Drive or I can pick a picture or add a link so if I went there I can easily just scroll through what I needed to you know choose from and then hit submit so um, it's super easy you can easily edit it as you go if you can't finish it right when you're working on it as you know planning time kind of escapes you after a while however it is a great tool i know when students hand in their assignments but they're late or on time um, i highly recommend this um, google classroom to any teacher anywhere all there and the other thing is how to vote in Burlington. Classroom is your project or the blizzard bag. All right, it's due June 1st. Um, the first thing you click just says final ninth grade snow project. Hi, I'm Joyce Carey. I teach history at Burlington High School. And for this year, I've been using Google Classroom. Google Classroom has helped me streamline a lot of my work. It's helped me, I teach a lot of the, uh, some lower level kids. I can post the notes right on Classroom instead of printing out papers for them. If I'm gonna be out sick or I have to stay home because my kids are sick, I can just post the assignment right up there. Um, I, I can post videos that are inter interesting. I've just found it much easier. It's streamlined my workload. The students really like it. And uh, I just, I can't live without it now. <laughs> The one thing I really like about Google Classroom is the fact that there's no excuses anymore. The work is there, it's detailed, the kids can do it online if they want to do it on paper, but there's no excuses for them not to get an assignment or not to get notes. I'm Todd Whitten, I'm the Social Studies Department Chair, and I'm using Google Classroom in addition to Canvas, and I've used Edmodo before. Uh, Google Classroom works really well for me for sharing primary source documents with my students, uh, collecting and assigning homework, uh, and then grading um, the documents all within their Google Drive folder so that they end up having a really good conversation with me about what the material asks of them. I've been here for, it's my 11th year here, my 20th year in education. 
Um, and Google Classroom has is new for me, but it has really improved my life, my productivity, um, and I think made my students' lives a whole lot easier. Um, just by way of history, I was using a personal uh, blog, which I a website, which I purchased and paid a monthly subscription fee for because I wasn't too um, familiar with, and I was a little uncomfortable with Google's offerings as far as the blog goes, um, as far as their blog availability. Um, so I uh, went to a training in August with Jen Sheffer, uh, professional development, just prior to the start of the school year, at which she introduced Google Classroom. And I loved the look of it. It looked very streamlined. It seemed easy to use. And we were already um, using Google uh, products, Gmail, uh, Google Docs, and so on. So I thought I'd give it a try. And I am so pleased I did because it has made my life so much easier. I'm able to have all my classes are now one place. I have five classes. And I can, at a glance, see what's coming up with each class. I can post assignments, one assignment for multiple classes. I teach three sections of British Lit, so I can post one assignment and boom, and it is there. It's disseminated immediately. The kids can access it immediately. And one of the most wonderful things is that I am able to see who is completing which assignments. Um, it has saved me so much time. All I need to do is take a look and see which assignments have been completed by whom. Um, the names are already attached to the assignment. Half the kids used to leave their names off assignments. I used to have to track them down by student ID number. And now their names are automatically attached to the assignment. So it has, uh, it has been a lifesaver in that regard. I can offer them commentary as the work progresses, so I don't have to wait until the final due date. I post announcements. Um, it has been um, it has been fantastic, and I will never go back. And I'm sure I will never certainly use any other um, uh, website or blog other than Google Classroom. Here's your original Canon. All right. This is uh, the, basically the, the power shells, which is going to be uh, what they're going to use back in that time period. They were really kind of old fashioned, but from back in that time period, they were extremely effective. Hi, my name is Rob Parkin. I'm a history teacher here at Burlington High School, and I use Google Classroom pretty much on a regular basis in my class, which means anywhere from two to four times a week to collect homework for students. So in this case, you will see that I've collected homework on like a podcast the kids had to create. And within this homework assignment, I can see exactly how many students did the assignment, how many students did not do the assignment. I can also add exactly the due date of when the assignment is, so students have full access and understanding of when a project is due or when a homework is due and the exact timing and date that it's due. So one of the other things that I use Google Classroom for is to actually collect student work and have students be able to reflect upon what each student was doing. So in other words, what we can do is we can allow the kids to basically see other student assignments. Um, so in this case, the students did a podcast on the Korean War uh, where they had to share it with each other using Google folders. And then from the Google folders, which you can see right here where it's linked up, we can see that the students are able to um, comment to each other on what each project had. So in this case, we had students actually give uh, feedback to their other students. Uh, and in the feedback, they're able to talk about what do they like about the other students' presentations, what do they dislike about it, did the students actually follow the rubric, and what types of things may have um, you know, been really, really highlighted within their projects or things that they absolutely need to work on. So it's really getting students involved in student feedback as well as teacher feedback. So I think that's one of the great things is we can open up a discussion forum for students to either discuss the projects that they're currently doing or they can discuss you know, an essential question together or they can discuss things like a video that they may have watched in class and you're getting live uh, student chat basically um, and which allows us to uh, get some feedback and ideas and originality from the students. And finally, the last thing that I think uh, Google Classroom has done to really impact my teaching is uh, because it's become so mainstream and easy to use, it's allowed me to kind of springboard myself into an area where I might use other Google tools. Uh, so one of the things that I'm working on with Ms. Chef right now is how to create Google Forms as an assessment piece uh, to make grading a little bit easier and to make a teacher's lives a little more effective and efficient. 
Hi, I'm Rachel Gold, and I use Google Classroom uh, in my world history classes primarily for the uh, history research paper. Uh, it's a 10 to 12 page process, and to keep the students organized, I found that it's it's been really helpful. They were particularly concerned this weekend when I emailed them reminders um, with special updates um, because I knew exactly when they had last updated and what they'd last been working on. And uh, just a reminder when they needed to bring in their printed out drafts. Uh, some sent <laughs> thank you notes. And uh, well, Gonzo was pleased. <laughs> But um, I've, I've found it so much better than just me hoping and, and praying that they're staying on track. I can see exactly where they are and when they're working. Five degrees. So the first thing you need to figure out is one right square root of two times one. Root of two. And then two times two is four. All right, you're gonna write it as one fraction Nicely, they have a common denominator already for you. So square root of six plus square root of two. I'm Bridget Boyle and I teach math here at Burlington High School and I've been using Classroom to distribute my problem sets to my honors pre-calculus students all year. Recently I learned about Doctopus and Goobrick so I've had my students submitting items back through Google Classroom after doing them on Notability and grading them with a Goobrick rubric from there. And I find it very helpful and a whole lot less paper for me to deal with and it makes my digital workflow much easier. So all my problem sets are in classroom and the students get a blank copy sent to them. They all receive this. They then put it on Notability, fill it out, and submit it back through Google Classroom so I can see who's done the assignment and who's not done. From there, I use Doctopus and Goobrick to export it and grade it that way.